Good morning, welcome back to the Flatbed Divers. I am Paulie D, the Flatbed Trucker. And this is a four day week. It was bank holiday yesterday. So, as you saw in the last week's video, I have got a flat pack bungalow loaded on the trailer. Uh, which then I had to sheet up on Friday night. Me and Dad's got that done. Uh, between like kind of about a yard half, five while nearly seven o'clock. And this morning I have got to be in between Cockermouth and Keswick, North Lakes, uh, for 8 a.m. It's now quarter past five, I've just got on the M62. Doing all the walk around checks and all that other malarkey, we have to do every single day. So, looking at two hours 45 minutes driving, 135 miles to go. Trying a bit harder this week to get some proper footage and actually be on camera. I think I only had two clips of me last week. I had more footage from last week, but I, I um, go, out, go check out the Crane Farmers page. Um, I was with him on a job Monday. Uh, took some C sections down for a big kiosk. Bit of a fast was the job in, in all in all, and I just ended up getting offloaded uh, with the two end pieces and leaving while they assembled it all. It was very kind of him to tag me in the video. So go check out his page. I'll put a link in it. Link to it in the description. Uh, I don't expect this to be a quick unload. It took three hours to load it. Um, and we had the access to a fork truck. Told there's a telehandler on the caravan park slash farm, whatever it is. Um, how much we're going to have access to it and who's going to be operating it is an excellent question, which I don't yet have answers for. We will deal with that when we get to it. Most things can be handballed. We don't want to handball them. There's some big panels, and there's, I think there's gonna be like two of their lads out there on Friday, and then me, and I've got back issues, so I ain't jumping up and doing as much as what I used to be able to. Going up the A1, A66, A66, A66 a bit more, and then a little B road. Um, so there won't, there won't be much to show you until I actually get to sight. I'll come back to you then. I'll catch you in a bit. the road I'm meant to be going now. Uh, I had a look on the map. It's yeah not suitable. Uh, there's another way around. Which is 
not much further on, so that's we'll go with that one. I pulled up at the A66 before the, before the M6. Uh, had a quick Google of where I was going. Um, followed the road in from the 66 where I've just turned off there. And there's a nasty right hand bend over a bridge which looks narrow. We'll see when I get there. And it's single track, whereas this is, if you see, as you can see, at least got a white line down the middle, which the other road doesn't. So I'm probably better off going in this way. Still going to take it steady, I'm still going to shove the beacons on just so I'm a bit more obvious when I'm cutting these corners. Um, three minutes from the job, 1.3 miles. It's only like, I did like 2.2 of a mile on. Turn the CB off because the signal's a bit patchy, so it's going to be on and off, on and off all afternoon, all day. I've been on the A66 this side. I forget how sneaky the road can be with some of those tight corners and little hills. Right. Go careful about this one. So that's where I would have come out dead ahead and then tried to turn right over this bridge. Yeah, that would have been really, really tight to turn on. It's going to be really, really tight to turn on anyway, I think. Oh, shit, no. Mm, um. and then I'll have another go. I might not get over this bridge. this time just wow that's tight right I believe I'm in here somewhere. Don't know where exactly, but I'm sure I'll find someone. Hey, right. I'll come back to you in a bit. Well, 
I'd love to be outside filming. Except. It's hammering it down. So we've got it unsheeted, unstrapped. They're currently working on unloading it. Let's see if you can see. A telehandler with very short forks. Just my job's getting updated. There's no, no booking reference for my next job. Um, so, yeah, I, was, I did try to put cameras on but they're just getting too wet and it's just not worth it. You won't get any decent footage. So, I'll come back to you on the next bit. Catch you in a bit.
it's one of them weeks I do. Yesterday, coming down from um, um, uh, uh, Keswick, somewhere on the M6, the wind got underneath my sheets that were rolled up on the back and blew them off. They were rolled up, they were strapped down, uh, put enough pressure on that it's actually damaged the ratchet which I found as well on the side of the motorway. Someone had kindly moved everything off the carriageway with where I assume it landed but also took two of the sheets left one behind which I managed to recover. So that isn't great. Uh, then went down to Liverpool, got loaded up with containers, took that back to the yard, everything else is fine. This morning you've just seen me help Pete load two bits of plant boom, well two halves of plant boom, which I was meant to take into Essex today, but they're not ready for it. So we've just picked it up and brought it back to the yard. Uh, I've now got uh, the loading trailer that you watch me strap up. Uh, that's going to Altingham Leisure Centre with Tex meeting there, he's going to offload us. And then we're up to Liverpool to a barracks, our training camp, pick up some bridge sections to take to EMR for scrap. Uh, I've just come off at Junction 22 and then back on. Uh, had a strap tail come loose, so I'll just tie that back up. And I've thrown an extra strap on the back one because it's been swaying quite a lot. So I'm at 16 foot, or just under 16 foot, and it's looks a bit windy.
evening. All right, me and Tex are on the M62 on his way back to the yard. Second job got cancelled because that job took us from 10 a.m. until half past four, quarter to five. There were literally one man hanging back for us just to get out the gate so we could lock up. We, they weren't rushing us or anything like that. So that's all good. Uh, they just needed it offloading. And we helped them out earlier as well. There's another wagon turned up not long after. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to turn for I'm making for me tea. And when I be home. So, um, yeah, been, there's been a wagon fire on the eastbound side of the M62. Hopefully the driver's out and safe because there was not a lot left of that wagon. Excuse me. So, we're nearly back. Couldn't get a lot of footage. Hopefully I got some interesting bits and you know what. It is what it is. I get what I get. Tomorrow I am taking a wafer bed trailer back to the trail hire place, then going down to Cheltenham, pick up a cabin and run that across to Enfield. Uh, meeting Chris down there, he's going to load and unload me. So that's not a bad day tomorrow. It gets me, gets me out of, the, out of Yorkshire, which I was barely going to be out of Yorkshire this week, going by my jobs. Uh, I was meant to be doing Shawcross to Scunthorpe, tip reload, back to Shawcross, tip reload, and then down to our yard at Chain Bar. That's now changed, so now to this one job at Cheltenham to Enfield. So that'll be a decent run down in the morning. show you around the wafer bed again. I know I've done it before in the past but I'll stick body cam on I think and while well, I'm hooking it up and dropping it. Try not mess it up this time like I did last time. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow being Thursday. Yeah. Okay, catch you later. Uh, Superman I'm tired by the way. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. <coughs> so, I'm here at the trailer hire. Drop off this trailer. First thing we do. Plug in the power. Anderson lead from wagon to trailer. Then <laughs> climb up here. To get the blocks. The blocks go under here. These are your very simple controls. Power button, wedge, which comes down onto your back in case you're dropping the neck, front up and down, 
back up and down. in the neck up so I can put the block underneath. down onto the blocks and lift the neck off the wagon so you've got pressure in both So, partly uncoupled, now we're going to lift the neck up so it's not, so it doesn't drop down. Now we've got good clearance between me and the trailer. Sat on the blocks. What I've nearly just forgot is my number plate. See if I can get to it. Few days. The last time I dropped one of these, I actually dropped the neck. Onto there. Which wasn't good. And uh, come back to you in a bit. It's been a long day. <sighs> Unable to get footage due to the sites we were on. Got a few photos which I'll put in. 
had to place Stenger on their delivery because the um, Vams said we had operator, slinger and AP on site so I have had my slinger qualification, I am trained it's currently out of date but I am still trained so I don't see the issue So we got to the job for about half ten this morning and we finished and parked up at quarter past eight. We're still on site, the cabins cabins are just over there. Uh, got permission to stay on site, we're just at junction 25 of the M25, which is literally less than 100 yards in front of me. So with the highways, uh, both will be a compound. Hopefully it's not going to be too noisy overnight. It's yeah, it's quiet enough at the moment, and they are working 24/7. So it's not not the best, but we didn't have time to go anywhere else. And then on that nose, the M25, there's no, there's nothing around here to park up. One junction down, you're looking at paying £50 a night at the truck stop. Which, even at those prices, would still be full about 5 o'clock. At quarter past half past eight, not a chance in hell. So, it was me and Pete just been... Oh, been for a walk down to pub, about ten minutes away. Got something to eat, because I didn't have no food with me. Checked my cupboards last week and found that my soup and my beans and sausage, my emergency rations, had been in my cupboard that long, they'd gone out of date. So I need to refill those this weekend. So I went down, got burger and chips from a nice pub, told them exactly what I wanted on the burger, and they completely ignored it and put everything on making it unedible so not happy but Pete paid so I ain't ready first <sighs> anyway I uh, got to get back up Yorkshire in the morning as early as I can uh, which if I go by the time I pulled my card I can leave, I can put my card in at quarter to five, if we go by the time I actually park the wagon where I am now, quarter past five, because I had to move my wagon, because uh, Pete didn't have enough room to get in, that side of us. So we'll sort that out in the morning. I've currently only got two jobs on, one's a site to site, literally a mile apart and the other one's just two collections from the same place which will fit on one trailer. So we just run up to the yard, put a bigger trailer on and then go do those three things. You might find more stuff for me to do, I don't know, we'll find out in the morning. probably wait and see what time I get back up north and I haven't actually looked how far away I am yet but I imagine it's going to be best part of three hours I'd imagine I'm going to go up A1 as far as I can because the roadworks on the M1 are just peeing me right off lately that many of them, it's a waste of time. So I'll go up the A1, probably cut across the M18 uh, to Sheffield and then up to the yard that way. Because the road works on the A1. Uh, uh, Darrington before the M62 are just as bad. Um, yeah. I'm falling asleep, so I am going to call it a night 
and I'll catch you for at least the weekly sign off but we'll see I might be able to get I don't know. I can't see any footage coming tomorrow because at the moment I'm not doing out so I'll talk to you tomorrow probably just say thanks for watching and goodbye so I'll catch you next week if I don't see if I don't speak to you again